Aquarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So, Aquarius... You get number 23, Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. Okay, love that. Okay. Making those choices and decisions there. And that Eagle Spirit has got your back. Got you covered right there. Right, Star Temple. Going to take that top one that jumped out. You get number three, the winged messenger, creation. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. Brilliant, especially where spirit has your back. Okay, putting all that into practice. Love that. So Aquarius, let's see what we've got here. Overall, Seven of Pentacles. So putting in the hard work here, possibly that winged messenger creation, putting the hard work in to see things start to grow, things to fall into place. But it does take constant hard work, always loose ends to tidy up. Past energies, you've got the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords. Finally been able to walk away from some sort of deceptive energy. You felt like you've gone through the mill over all these hurdles and obstacles felt like you weren't able to let go of something or someone at the past there but finally maybe been able to walk away from some sort of deception there present energies you've got the king of wands the empress king of cups look at that for balance the two kings on either side of the empress very intuitive very aware okay but very confident and very determined and in control of the situation here Possibly when it comes to love, possibly of what journey you're on and where you're heading towards, as well as knowing to put that hard work in to get things happening. Brilliant. Future energies, another king, king of swords, justice, three of pentacles. Using your head over your heart, there's good karma here, good reward for the effort that you've put in, the hard work that you've put in. Possibly... Um, that reward may be legal, may be monetary, it may not be. It may just be a good outcome for all this hard work that you have put in. And now being able to put the plans and details into place, put yourself in the spotlight here and um, taking forward, going forward with that journey. Brilliant, love it. So Aquarius, let's see what the clarifications have. Pretty awesome for an underlying reading, I like that. So... See a bit more here. Right, starting overall, Seven of Pentacles for the week. No, I got that round the wrong way. <laughs> overall for the week, Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Yeah, the Nine of Wands again, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah, been through all these hurdles and obstacles, okay, and feeling like you're in a crossroads or, or, or T-junction more likely, come to a stalemate situation. But making some quick decisions, keeping the communication open and being able to find those detours if needed to continue the journey on. Past energies, Four of Pentacles. You get the Queen of Pentacles, the Fall and Death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but proud of your achievements. Been able to take that leap of faith towards something, some brand new chapter there. Been able to leave everything else behind and take a chance on something brand new. Brilliant. 
Nine of Wands, you get the Star, the Devil, and the Hangman. Super energy there, say three major arcanas. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or Capricorn, but your wishes, your dreams, your hopes to break free of some sort of chains, some sort of negative energy, whether it's an addiction, maybe within or somebody close to you. It may be just negative toxic energy that's constantly hanging around, hoping and wishing for those to be that energy to be broken up kind of at the moment in the past may have left you feeling in limbo, stuck on the fence, not being able to make clear decisions until that energy was cleared up. But Seven of Swords, walking away from that deception, it may even be based around that. Five of Cups, Strength, the Empress, could be dealing with a Leo, but walking away it may actually give you this emotional loss and grief that you've had to leave something behind or someone behind there. But take strength to get through that energy. But everybody does that in their own time. I always say, don't let others come in and tell you to hurry up and move on. Go through your own process there. But you're very intuitive, very aware of other loving energy around you. And that strength um, gets you through. So you come to the present energy. King of Wands. Get the Moon, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Hidden fears over moving forward may have to be done in secret and it may be a very slow process. Clarifying King of Wands, when you know where you want to be heading towards, you're getting control over where you're going and um, that may be hidden fears as well of how to actually move forward to there. Could be dealing with the Pisces, but with that Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, very slow process. But you may be aware of that. You've got the Empress with the Page of Cups, Four of Cups, the Magician. Yeah, creating a way for this love to come through, whether you're offering love to somebody, they may be offering love to you, but you're needing to be able to shift that vision around to see what all these offers do actually present to you. You may be just focused on one particular thing or someone and um, actually being able to shift your vision around, create a way to shift that vision around and see what else is on offer there. Maybe something bigger and better for some of you, maybe. And you've got the King of Cups with the Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles again and the Lovers. Okay, persistence here. You're not wanting to let go of something or someone, possibly someone, given you've got the lovers as well. Could be a soulmate twin flame, somebody significant here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but you've definitely got this persistent attitude here and clarifying the King of Cups as well around love. So possibly that is all in relation to love. And um, you've got that persistence there. Come into your future energies, you've got King of Swords, the Five of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of Cups. Again, being able to walk away from some sort of battle that's not working for you. Constantly banging your head against a brick wall, some sort of emotional attachment. Maybe now finally being able to break free of that and bring you some more stability here with the Four of Wands in the middle of that. But um, also using your head over your heart, clarifying that King of Swords. That um, stability, maybe a permanent job, it may be buying a home, it may be around love, but first walking away from some sort of battle or emotional attachment that's not working for you. Justice, brings justice maybe, Ten of Wands, yep, Two of Wands, Queen of Cups. Yeah, you felt like you're doing this journey on your own, but now bringing an end to that cycle, finally done and dusted getting control of your emotions here, proud of how far you've come emotionally and knowing that you've got this new goal that you can move towards um, and also knowing that it won't just land in your lap but um, knowing also that you've brought an end to that burden or that heavy weight on your shoulders of doing everything yourself. And you finish with the Three of Pentacles, your turn in the spotlight, love that, with the Three of Wands the Hermit and the High Priestess. Yeah, seeing the bigger picture, seeing things clearly, seeing something for what it really is, maybe someone for who they really are, and it may be in a more positive way. It doesn't have to be in a negative way. Doing the soul searching, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, could be dealing with a Virgo, but you're not wanting to let your guard down too much, even though you can now see things a lot more clearer. You're just kind of sitting back, still being observant, seeing things clearer, but and being very observant, kind of hand in hand, and um, 
not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much right there so Aquarius love it we'll see what the universe has to say eight of wands two of wands and the devil again could be dealing with that Capricorn may still be hanging around with that energy um, from the past that you've got up there with that energy as well very hard to break free of those um, shackles or those chains but by some quick communication some quick decisions that may need to be made there and allowing yourself to move towards um, that goal may actually at least start to break this energy up right there and open to spirit flew out here and it's got heal your grieving heart your animal friends live on okay so maybe going through a process having that emotional loss and grief and having to leave this behind we've got that emotional loss and grief with the five of cups it may actually come from the passing of um, a pet of some sort okay so having that there come out may be relevant for some of you so Aquarius that's what I have for you I do hope it helped if you click the subscribe button down here thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time see ya bye